Hello and welcome to another show. My name's Sid and in today's video I'm going to be going over this very simple tap to change the background colour effect. Uh, if you've already seen my how to make a green screen or any of the previous tap to change videos I've made, this is sort of a combination of the two. It's not too difficult. Uh, this is everything in the patch editor that we're going to be going over. I'm also going to show you, it's not on here yet, but I'm going to show you how to add some instructions for the user so they know how to interact with it. Uh, yeah. Basically that's it, just a couple of different colours. We'll pause this and open a new project. If you uh, aren't subscribed, maybe consider it. Leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the video, if you want to see anything else. I don't know. And if you're already subscribed, thanks, I appreciate it. Especially you. Like, you're my favourite out of all of the uh, 31 people that subscribe to me. No one does it quite like you. <laughs> so yeah, right, we're going to add a rectangle to our scene. It appears inside this canvas, nested. So what we're going to do next is we're going to duplicate it and one more time and one more time. So now we've got what we're going to call our foreground, which is basically us. And then each of these we're going to rename, let's say red, blue and green. Cool. So now we're going to come over to layers and we're going to rename this to foreground. And we're going to add a new layer and we're going to rename that background. So now we can switch between them and we have different, we can we can adjust, we can move these around now. And say, hey, we want all of these to be part of our background layer. Which is cool. Yep. So then what we're going to do is come up here to camera because we need to separate ourselves out from the background. So we're going to add segmentation and texture extraction, which will, if you add these little check marks, check the tick boxes, then they will appear down here in our textures. So now we can come up to foreground. Uh, actually, we're going to control select all of these and adjust the width and the height. We're going to fill them so the entire screen is covered. Uh, yep, and then we'll come up to foreground. We're going to add a material layer for that. And we'll come down here and we'll rename that foreground. I'm not sure how this video is going. It seems like it's uh, a little disjointed, a little all over the place. But hey, what can you do? So, yeah, so we've got our foreground layer. We're going to add this texture for our person segmentation mask. And then under the alpha channel, we're going to add our camera texture. Although, doing it the other way around tends to work a little bit better. So that's camera texture up the top under texture and shader properties. And then check the alpha box so that this becomes visible. And you want to add the person segmentation uh, texture here. Basically, that separates you out from the background, which kind of looks cool, but it's a little bit blurry. So if we come down here to person segmentation mask, we can change the the hardness of the edge and um, we can also increase the mask size so if we add that if we increase that to around I don't know 2.5 something like that and you start to see a little bit more of that and you can also <laughs> you can adjust your own visibility it's pretty cool so now we're gonna create some material layers for these rename them red blue and green and now I'll change the colors of them very quickly red blue and green and I'm gonna control select all of them and just change the shader type to flat so that we get a nice neutral uh, green and all of that sort of stuff all these different colors so we've got that looking lovely now the next thing we're going to want after this is we're going to uh, add our interactions. So open up our patch editor, come up to view, show hide patch editor. Oh, sorry, I'm just adjusting my computer. And then we want to double click down here and we'll add a screen tab because that's how we're going to be interacting with the screen. Sorry if this isn't super descriptive. I made a whole bunch of these videos. So if you just watch like two or three of them, you'll pretty much have this entire technique down. You can go through figure out which thing you want to make and then kind of just go from there. This is a pretty handy one though if you want to sort of up your green screen, uh, your green screen game just a little bit. So yeah, we've got a screen tap and we come over here, we'll add a counter, which iterates through a count that we select. Right now it's the default is at five, so it'll iterate from zero to five. Uh, but we could change that, which we will. Then we want equals exactly, which is a function that checks whether two numbers are the same. And if they are, then it continues the sequence and allows more stuff to happen. So basically we've got this. 
take this and then we want to add these three make them control shift them and then make these three uh, canvases sorry these three rectangles visible in the patch editor by clicking this button and we can drag them like this and connect them up uh, if you do want an empty one that's just sort of neutral then you can add that in as well I forgot about that so I'll add in you know background none you know cool so we can also add that to the visibility let's throw that up there copy and paste connect that one up okay so now we've got all four of these set up pretty nice uh, but our iteration is wrong so if I switch over to simulate touch you'll see we do actually have the tap to touch in engaged uh, our count is currently at three four and comes back around to zero but because all of these are currently set at zero it means that all of these layers are visible on the same layer sorry all of these rectangles are visible on the same layer which we don't want so we'll come into each of these and we'll adjust them so we'll start with zero and then this one's one and then for count two and then count three and then because we only have four uh, different equals exactly here four different rectangles to switch between we don't need this so we change that to four uh, four zero one two three which is four if that makes any sense it's just a programming thing all sort of sequences tend to start at zero so now when we tap the screen uh, you can see that it does in fact switch around I'm not sure why oh, oh this is a uh, because I have this layer set so if I create remove that object uh, and create a new material I'll call this background none and now when we switch through yep it should be completely grey on this grey one which is our background none you want to come down into the, the actual material and reduce the opacity on it to zero uh, and now it's hard to see because I don't have much of a background but, but now you can see that the opacity is reduced so you can see your background basically yep this is our neutral red green blue I got that wrong as well this whole video is a little bit out of sorts I'm not sure what's happening I'm not stopping though because I've tried to film this like six times already and I'm just posting it I'm posting it I'm back in the swing I'm making more after this <laughs> even though my frame rates dropping like crazy so yeah basically we've got our tap to change now with our three colors uh, we're going to quickly add some instructions before my entire uh, computer breaks and then we'll call this video a day so you want to come up here to device and under custom instructions and patch you want to create instructions on opening that will add these patches into your uh, editor which we can drag over and out of the way because they always end up just sort of right in the middle of what you're doing so we've got this function here which is the runtime so when we click play the runtime count begins and it just keeps going for as long as the filter is open uh, then our less than is a count that stops after a certain amount of time so right now it's set at five seconds which means that when five seconds as long as the, this count is below five seconds this is engaged and active but once it passes five seconds then this is no longer enabled so we need to add some instructions so if we come up here to properties edit properties capabilities instructions custom instructions this plus button and then we're searching for tap to change but you can obviously do any type of thing you want add any instructions depending on what sort of interaction you're using under the see the token here we're going to copy this control C and then paste it control V into here and now you can see the count started because there's actually something to uh, to activate but when I refresh it count starts back at zero goes through to one our instructions are on the screen until it hits five then this tick disappears and the instructions disappear right along with it we can still tap to change though which is pretty cool my hair's looking crazy this whole video is a little bit crazy right so I've basically shown you all of that what I wanted everything I wanted to show you now <laughs> damn I need to start editing these videos so basically what we've got is a screen tap and a counter which iterates through uh, each of these rectangles which we've got set up we have separated out our foreground with count with a person segmentation and camera textures which is us so we're separated from the background layer we have a completely neutral background which is uh, which is 
transparent and invisible so the opacity has been reduced all the way down so you can just see yourself and it looks like a normal screen and then when you tap red blue green that's pretty much the entire video I'm completely rambling and I've gone off the deep end a little bit here I'm gonna try and make another one right now about tap to change gradients because I saw someone do it with JavaScript and I figured that maybe there's an easier way like a little bit simpler version so yeah I'm gonna try and make that after but yeah thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe comment all that good stuff I don't know why you would though nobody makes it this far I can see in the statistics in the analytics nobody makes it this far through the video uh, yeah I guess I'll see you next time I'm gonna try and make more videos upload them today but I always say that and I don't know this is getting out of hand <laughs> I don't know if I taught anyone anything I don't know if I know what I'm doing cool peace I'm out bye next time bruh